Hey guys, how you going? Uh, my name is Dom and in this video I would like to discuss the insert adjacent text method um, inside the JavaScript document object model. Um, so basically this method allows you to insert um, new text adjacently to an existing element. Um, so uh, let's just see how this thing works in practice. Um, so I'm going to create a new paragraph inside the body here. So inside the source code I'm going to make a new paragraph tag and give an ID of my para. Okay, so inside this paragraph, I'm going to put some, some dummy texts. So some lorem ipsum right there. Okay, cool. So um, now I'm going to use the insert adjacent text method to actually insert some new text um, in one of four positions um, relative to this element or adjacently to this element right there. So we can insert it um, before the element begins, so that'll be um, uh, above here. We can insert it after it begins, so as the first child inside here, uh, before it ends as the last child, and also after it ends um, after the element um, down here. So let's actually use this method right now to insert some text. So um, down here inside the JavaScript, um, we're going to first get a reference to the myPara um, paragraph tag. So down here, let's make a new constant and we'll call this one myPara equal to uh, document dot get element by ID. We're going to pass in myPara inside here. Okay, so now um, we have a reference to um, the paragraph tag right here. So now um, we're going to call uh, myPara dot insert adjacent text this one down here okay and this thing will actually take two arguments the first one being um, the position of where to insert this text as I discussed earlier so it can be one of these four positions um, and you actually insert this as a um, as a regular text string so um, let's just say uh, right now we can say um, before begin okay so um, once that is inside there, um, our position, we can now specify or um, provide the actual text to insert. So let's just say um, we put decode in capitals inside here. Um, so now this line of code right there is going to insert the text of decode um, before this my para tag begins. So if I was to save this and refresh um, the browser, we get decode right there and you can actually see um, the paragraph margin between those two um, those two uh, pieces of text and if I was to go inside the element section of the dev tools and we can see that decode um, happens before um, my para so decode is actually a child of the body and not the uh, my para paragraph tag so that is before begin. Um, we can do the same thing, this time changing the position to um, after after begin. So if I was to save and refresh the browser here, um, decode is now a first child of the my para tag. So now it's part of the paragraph and inside the dev tools I can expand this and we see it's right there um, as the first child. Um, a similar option would be the um, before end and that inserts as the last child so I can save and refresh um, this time we have decode not there let's read the message okay alright I spelled that wrong so before end alright try it again refresh this time decode is at the end of the paragraph tag so as the um, as the uh, last child and finally we have the after end property um, to insert the text after um, the um, the paragraph finishes. So now, once again, uh, decode is a child of the body tag and not the my para element. Um, so that is the four positions of the insert adjacent text um, method. So a very similar uh, method is the insert adjacent HTML method and this one will actually insert HTML so um, the main difference I guess um, between these two is that the insert adjacent HTML method is actually going to pass and render 
the HTML as part of the document object model as an actual element. Um, whereas here, you're just going to um, get a text node. So, um, if I was to put some HTML inside here, for example, a strong tag wrapping um, the decode um, text, if I was to save this and refresh the browser, um, we actually get the HTML um, printed out as regular text because um, the browser didn't actually pass it this time. Um, if I was to change this to the insert adjacent HTML method, um, and this time, HTML, um, with this method it behaves the same way, but if I was to save this and refresh, we can see that um, the browser will actually pass it as HTML and actually add the HTML element to the document object model. Um, so that right there is how you can use the insert adjacent text um, method inside the JavaScript document object model. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.